Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Get ready for an exhilarating journey that will leave you on the edge of your seat with your heart racing in ways you never even thought possible. Ready for the thrill? Let's jump right into it. We start today's compilation with this strange deer that was caught on a trail cam in the secluded part of the woods. It's a white deer. While spotting a white deer is rare, it's not just the color that captivates everyone in this image, it's the deer's strange and unnatural features. Upon closer examination, this deer appears to have three hind legs, with two on each side of the body, and one positioned directly behind them. This is a captivating instance of a deformed albino deer, a condition that can arise due to maternal nutrient deficiencies during pregnancy, trauma, or even hereditary factors. Although this creature has an excess of some limbs and less of others, it's still able to thrive and survive. Interestingly, these deformed albino deer often possess heightened senses, allowing them to detect danger more rapidly than their regular counterparts. Rest assured, this white Bambi is thriving and managing well on its own. For our next footage, you might want to get ready for a spine-chilling encounter caught on camera. In this airy footage captured on Vancouver Island during the Halloween season, we're presented with a mysterious phenomenon that defies explanation. A strange and ethereal smoke that materializes seemingly out of nowhere and dissipates into thin air. As we focus our attention on the screen, it becomes evident that the origin of this enigmatic smoke is shrouded in uncertainty. It defies the characteristics of normal fog or smoke from a conventional fire, leaving experts puzzled and searching for answers. The question remains, what could possibly be behind this baffling occurrence? Enter the realm of the supernatural, as paranormal enthusiasts and believers in the occult came forward with their theories. Given the timing of the footage during the Halloween season, some suggest that this mysterious smoke could be a manifestation of a supernatural phenomenon. According to folklore, Halloween is a time when the boundaries between our world and the spirit realm blur, allowing creatures from the underworld to venture into our realm. While skepticism may prevail, the appearance of this peculiar smoke during this mystical time of the year certainly raises intriguing possibilities. What do you think, though? Could this be an elaborate hoax, or did we just witness the manifestation of a dark spirit on camera? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Let's dive into the intriguing world of perception and speculation, where a single image can ignite the imagination and spark a whirlwind of theories. In this captivating photograph captured by a wildlife photographer, we're presented with an image that has sent the paranormal community into a frenzy of speculation and conjecture. As we examine the image closely, we begin to unravel the truth behind the enigmatic creature in question. What may have initially appeared to be a cryptid or a shape-shifting being, upon further inspection, reveals itself to be something far more commonplace, a hairless, rare, and of a mouse. It's fascinating how our perceptions can play tricks on us, leading to imaginative interpretations and theories. The initial excitement and inclination towards extraordinary explanations can often lead us astray. However, when we take a step back and truly examine the details, we realize that sometimes the simplest explanation is the correct one. In this case, the image showcases a harmless earthly creature with its head bent into the grass, likely engaged in its natural behavior of grazing. It serves as a reminder that not every unusual sight is a supernatural phenomenon or a creature that defies explanation. Don't get me wrong, there are some really terrifying creatures out there that don't belong here, but this is not one of them. Next, we have trail cam footage that's left the owner spooked and the paranormal community intrigued. Confused about what I'm referring to? Watch the clip. Did you see it? Confusing, right? Because after watching the clip, you're still left to wonder, what did I just watch? The paranormal community has come up with some wild ideas. 
Some believe we may be dealing with a cryptid, but the mystery remains. How does it appear in one frame and disappear in the next? Some think it's a spirit moving in between planes, that is, our plane of reality and its own plane. That sounds interesting and plausible, but is that really the case? Well, we can't say for sure. What do you think, though? What could we really be dealing with here? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Next, we have this trail cam capture that we aren't quite sure of what it could be. As I mentioned earlier, there are creatures that do not seem to belong to our world, and this particular image is a perfect example. The sight of the creature in the image should give you chills. The creature in question has dark fur and hind legs, reminiscent of a quadrupedal animal. The creature is standing on its hind legs and looks hunched. It doesn't seem to have a neck, making it look like the head is attached to the shoulders. The head has a strange and indescribable shape, and its eyes are oval-shaped and completely white, lacking any discernible irises or pupils. It looks like something straight out of a horror movie, or perhaps even an alien. While I wish I could dismiss it as a person in a costume or a product of photo editing, what I'm seeing appears disturbingly real. This leaves us with many questions. What is this creature? Where did it come from? Are the inhabitants who live near where this was filmed safe? So many questions. But hey, I'm dying to know what you make of all this. What's your take on this spine-chilling creature captured on that trail cam? So picture this, there's a dude out hiking in the woods just enjoying nature's wonders. Suddenly, his eyes catch something bizarre, a creature strolling the path up ahead. Now, you know this guy couldn't resist the call of curiosity, so he decides to play detective and starts chasing after the enigmatic being. But here's where it gets intense, my friends. As our brave adventurer gets closer, he begins to realize that what he's chasing after is no ordinary critter. Nope, this thing defies all labels and categories. It's like a riddle wrapped in a mystery. The creature standing tall at a whopping seven to eight feet is a hulking beast. I'm talking muscles on muscles, folks. And get this, it's covered head to toe in brown fur, giving off some serious ape vibes. But here's the kicker. It's running on two legs with its massive arms effortlessly swinging through the trees like they're twigs in the wind. Can you imagine witnessing that? Now hold on tight, because it gets even more hair-raising. As the chase heats up, the creature senses its pursuer hot on its tail and picks up the pace. It's desperate to shake off its persistent shadow. But guess what? Our gutsy hiker refuses to back down. He's like a dog with a bone determined to uncover the truth. But here's the heart-stopping moment. The creature suddenly comes to a halt and starts pacing among the trees, unleashing bone-chilling growls that could make your blood freeze. It's at that very moment that our hiker realizes he's come face to face with the legendary Bigfoot. Yeah, you heard me right. Bigfoot. Luckily, the pacing giant eventually calms down and bolts away, leaving our intrepid hiker in a state of shock and awe. I mean, who wouldn't be left dumbfounded after an encounter like that? Brace yourselves for some seriously unsettling footage that'll make you question what lurks in the shadows. So get this, there's this town, right? And on their security footage, they capture something straight out of a nightmare. Picture a creature that appears like a starved dog, all bony and emaciated. Now here's the thing, my friends, don't be fooled by its malnourished appearance. This thing may look weak, but it's a force to be reckoned with. We're talking about a creature that can take down a full-grown bull and devour it whole. Yeah, you heard me right. But that's not even the scariest part. This creature, when it slinks into towns, goes after stray dogs. It attacks them, leaving them injured or in some cases lifeless. It's like a nightmare come to life. Now, let's talk about its legs, creepy as can be. The hind legs resemble something almost human but with dog-like features. And the front legs? Well, they're just hanging there, suspended in the air. Strange, huh? 
While there are accounts that prove this thing is real, a part of me wants to believe it's not. It feels like it might all be made up and the creature we are seeing is nothing but CGI. But perhaps that's just me being a skeptic. What do you think? All right, folks, buckle up for some intriguing photographic evidence that'll make your jaw drop. We've got a series of stunning pictures capturing a picturesque waterfall in Colorado. But hold on tight, because there's more to these pictures than meets the eye. Now picture this. A talented photographer snaps away, capturing the beauty of the waterfall in all its glory. Little did they know that they had an unexpected visitor in their frame. It wasn't until a friend took a closer look and pointed it out that the owner even noticed something unusual. And there it was, in one of the pictures, a massive, brown-furred creature standing on a hill by the waterside. Talk about a shocker. Naturally, they couldn't help but wonder if this majestic beast was none other than the legendary Bigfoot. They meticulously went through all the pictures taken at the same location, but none of them revealed this enigmatic brown-furred creature. That's when their suspicions reached new heights. Could this truly be a sighting of Bigfoot? Now, for all those unfamiliar, Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch, is said to roam the mountainous regions shrouded in mystery. Reports describe them as towering beings, standing at least eight to nine feet tall, if not more. And here we have this creature visible in that one elusive picture. But let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Could this be a genuine encounter with the elusive Bigfoot, or might it be something else entirely? Perhaps a moving rock playing tricks on our eyes. It's a tantalizing mystery that's got us all guessing. But what do you personally think? Next, we have this airy footage captured at a playground in England during the night. And perched atop the slide, we see a mysterious creature. It's as pale as a ghost with eyes that glow with an otherworldly light. But as soon as it spots the intruder, it swiftly leaps into the shadows, disappearing without a trace. The only remnants of its presence are the haunting sound of the swing swaying back and forth. Now, people who have seen this footage claim that the creature in question is none other than a rake. But what exactly is a rake? While well, rakes are paranormal beings known for their ghostly pale appearance and piercing glowing eyes. They bear a resemblance to humans, but crawl on all fours, giving them an unsettling, inhumane presence. But that's not all. Imagine a mouth filled with razor-sharp teeth and claws that can send shivers down your spine. These creatures are said to lurk in the darkest corners, creeping into the windows of unsuspecting sleepers, their sole purpose to strike fear into the hearts of their victims. So the burning question remains. Do you believe that the creature captured in the footage is a rake? Are we witnessing a true encounter with this paranormal entity, or could there be another explanation lurking in the shadows? Share your thoughts, your fears, and let's delve into the realm of the unknown together. All right, folks, get ready for another mystery that'll leave you scratching your heads. We've got some intriguing footage capturing a furry creature standing in a field. Now, this one is a tough nut to crack. Let's dive in and see if we can unravel the enigma. At first glance, it's challenging to determine what creature we're dealing with here. Some folks suggest it might be a dog, but there's something that just doesn't quite add up for me. Identifying this elusive creature becomes even trickier due to its uncertain position. Is it on all fours or is it lying down? It's like a game of hide and seek, making it hard to discern the head or limbs. But from what I can gather, I have a different theory. To me, it appears more akin to an ape. There's a certain posture and stance that evoke images of our primate cousins. However, the final verdict is up to you. So let's hear it from all of you. Take a good look at the picture and share your thoughts in the comments section below. What do you see in this mysterious image? Is it a dog, an ape, or perhaps something entirely different? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Oh boy, hold on to your hats because we've got a seriously eerie sighting captured on the trail cam. Prepare yourselves, folks, because this creature is a real head turner. Now, take a good look at this image. What on earth is that? It's an ugly creature, no doubt about it. Those claws, ooh, yikes. 
They resemble something straight out of Edward Scissorhands, but that's just the beginning, my friends. This creature has a bizarre combination of human-like features mixed with something more sinister. From the hair to the eyes and lower lips, it almost appears human. But oh, that nose! The creature also sports a colossal snout reminiscent of a pig, only much larger. I mean, seriously, it's like a goblin come to life. Whoever came up with this Halloween costume, well, let's just say they must have not been giving out candies that night, because let me tell you, the mere sight of this creature would scare the living daylights out of anyone. So my brave souls, what are your thoughts on this chilling entity? Is it a creature spawned from our worst nightmares or perhaps just an elaborate hoax? Share your thoughts, your fears, and let's navigate through the realm of the supernatural together. Hold on tight, my friends, because we're about to delve into another spine-chilling encounter. This time, we find ourselves in Catalonia, Spain, with a camera capturing a sight in the depths of the woods. And as luck would have it, there are rangers present documenting this hair-raising encounter. So let's set the scene. The camera captures the presence of a creature rumored to be another cryptid lurking in the shadows. As is often the case, the rangers find themselves face to face with the unknown, ready to uncover the truth. The footage reveals a creature with a ghostly, pale appearance, sending chills down your spine. Its eyes emit an ethereal glow, captivating yet unnerving. But that's not all. This creature possesses a shockingly emaciated body, moving with astonishing speed on all fours. It's a sight that'll make your heart skip a beat. Suddenly, the creature turns around, fixing its gaze directly on the rangers. Imagine the terror that courses through their veins at that very moment. Panic sets in as they frantically run and scream, unable to shake off the tension caused by the creature's abrupt movement. It's a situation that doesn't bode well for the rangers filming this eerie footage in the depths of the woods, especially at such a bewitching hour. Now, these questions linger in the air. What is this cryptid creature after? Could it be a fallen celestial being, or a creature from another realm, or perhaps it's just a cleverly orchestrated hoax? We can't say for sure, but what do you think? Deep in the depths of a forgotten realm, an unspeakable horror slumbers. Its name was whispered only in hushed tones by those daring enough to delve into the realm of nightmares. Prepare yourselves, for we are about to uncover the chilling tale of a creature shrouded in darkness. In the shadows of Venezuela's Grand Savannah region, an abomination awaits, lurking in the abyss. It emerges from its lair, a monstrous figure with twisted limbs and a hideous countenance. Its form, a grotesque amalgamation of unearthly proportions, strikes fear into the hearts of those unfortunate enough to behold it. This creature, concealed within the mists of myth, possesses a gaze that pierces the soul, eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. They seem to hold the secrets of the abyss itself. Its ghastly appearance, a maddening fusion of monstrous features, defies comprehension. Legends speak of its monstrous claws, sharp and serrated, capable of rending flesh from bone with ease. Its monstrous form appears to defy the laws of nature, contorting in ways that should not be possible. What nightmare birthed such a creature into existence? Prepare yourselves for the name of this abomination is none other than the Venezuelan Poodle Moth. Yes, my friends, let us cast away the Shroud of Terror and embrace the light of understanding. The Venezuelan Poodle Moth, despite its monstrous appearance, is a creature of nature, fascinating in its own right. It's a moth white in color with wings adorned with feathery structures that set it apart from its kin. Its unique physical traits captivate the imagination and have garnered attention among enthusiasts and researchers alike. But do not be deceived, for this creature is not a monster, but a wondrous product of evolution. Its fluffy exterior serves as a purpose beyond our initial apprehension. By utilizing its fluff, the Venezuelan poodle moth can dampen the sound it emits, confounding its predators, bats, making it a master of stealth in the darkness. Furthermore, within the very fibers of its fluff lies a substance akin to cellulose, playing a role in the orientation of cell expansion. 
It's a connection to the fundamental principles that shape life itself. So, my dear adventurers, let us marvel at the mysterious and embrace the beauty that lies within the unknown. The Venezuelan poodle moth, once shrouded in terror, reveals itself as a captivating creature, a testament to the wonders of nature's endless variety. Amid the secluded corners of a remote locale, our attention is captivated by the presence of a peculiar creature moving with an air of mystery and intrigue. It's through the lens of a phone and a trail cam that this footage was captured, revealing a creature that has come to be known colloquially as the Black Panther. Its massive form bears a resemblance to the renowned Texas Black Cat, lending it this casual moniker. Yet despite the numerous theories circulating in the wake of this sighting, the true identity of this enigmatic creature has proven elusive. In the photos displayed across the vast expanse of the internet, one thing is crystal clear. The creature in question undeniably possesses the traits of a Black Panther. With its sleek, ebony coat and graceful gait on all fours, it undeniably shares striking similarities with its feline counterparts, particularly the majestic panther. Experts on knowledgeable minds post a different perspective, proposing that this creature is, in fact, a jacarandi, a species predominantly found in the realms of northern Mexico, Central, and South America. These elusive creatures carve their habitat across a diverse region of landscape, from near-desert thorn scrubs to sprawling savannas, and from dry woodlands to the depths of primary and secondary rainforests. Though they may be somewhat uncommon in grasslands lacking dense scrub or dense forests, their adaptability knows few bounds. Given the fact that these sightings were made not far from their habitats, we have to go with the experts here. Ah, the allure of adventure. It seems there's no limit to the length some will go to seek thrills and uncover the mysteries of the world. And in this particular video, we bear witness to such a daring escapade. Brace yourselves, for we're about to embark on a journey that tests the boundaries of bravery. In this footage, we find ourselves in the company of two audacious individuals armed with recording devices and a trusty flashlight. Their intentions are clear. They seek to capture a creature, a being that lurks in the shadows of legend. But as we shall soon discover, their pursuit takes a perilous turn. In an atmosphere thick with tension and anticipation, one of the individuals proposes a daring idea, to throw a firework at the creature. Little do they know what lies in store for them. Suddenly, the air is pierced by blood-curdling screams emanating from the creature itself. Its fury and distress are palpable, unleashed by the intrusion of these two men. In a brief moment of exposure, the creature reveals a figure eerily reminiscent of a human, a chilling sight that sends shivers down the spine. As the encounter escalates, panic sets in, and the two men find themselves desperately fleeing for their very lives. The question lingers in the air. Was it truly worth risking everything for the mere capture of a creature? While we debate the question, there are some who believe the whole thing is nothing but a hoax to garner more views. What are your thoughts? In the realm of the untamed, where the wild and the unknown collide, encounters with majestic creatures hold an air of mystery. Imagine finding yourself in the presence of a wolf, the embodiment of nature's untamed spirit. In such moments, instinct kicks in, and we seek refuge in hiding, silently hoping to remain unseen by these enigmatic beings. But what if, against all odds, the unexpected occurs? In this mesmerizing video, we bear witness to a wolf's leisurely stroll through its domain, seemingly lost in its own world. Unbeknownst to the wolf, a lady stands silently, observing its every move. It's as if an unseen connection sparks between them, an unspoken exchange in the depths of the wild. Then the lady breaks the silence, uttering a few words. The wolf, caught off guard, startles and swiftly retreats from the encounter. A brief moment of connection and tension, leaving us with more questions than answers. What secrets lie within the depths of the wolf's mind? What drew its attention to the lady's voice, piercing through the wild like a whispered enchantment? In the dance between predator and observer, there are subtleties at play. 
the lady's choice of clothing, blending seamlessly with the natural hues of her surroundings, granted her temporarily invisible to the eyes of the wolf, and the wind carrying her scent away veiled her presence, preventing detection. A threatened or nervous wolf may unleash its voice upon the air, barking and howling to assert its presence and protect its territory. And when faced with human intrusion, the wolf may cautiously monitor their every move, observing from a safe distance until they are no longer a threat. To gain the attention of a wolf in its domain, a wave or deliberate action may catch its discerning gaze. This will prevent it from being suddenly startled and prevent any unpredictable behavior. As magnificent as these creatures are, if you ever met one in the wild, remember they are no house dog and respect their boundaries. Once again, our minds are being blown by the countless creatures caught on the trail, dash, as well as street cams on a supposedly normal day. In this video clip, we witness a creature moving on all fours, either on the sidewalk or the road. Its wide stance and leg position resemble that of an enlarged grasshopper. The internet is ablaze with speculations as this creature captured from various angles appears to be a skinwalker hauntingly traversing the earth as if it's claimed it for its own. It's really creepy how these camps pick up just about anything in hindsight. Not many think the footage is genuine, though. They believe it's a prank or at least some sort of elaborate hoax. What do you think? Please do tell. Deep within a remote forest where nature's secrets whisper among the trees, a captivating discovery awaits. Behold, mysterious footprints etched into the earth, as if a creature of myth and legend once graced this sacred ground. The soil tells its tale, revealing that the imprints were made when the ground was damp, now dried up in the passage of time. As I ponder the origin of these enigmatic tracks, a sense of wonder takes hold. Could this be the work of Bigfoot, that elusive giant said to roam these lands? Or do these prints belong to a creature yet undiscovered, lurking beyond the realms of our knowledge? The possibilities dance in our imaginations, reminiscent of the intrigue woven in tales like Bridge to Terabithia. As we tread the path of curiosity, a question lingers in the air. Are we delving into realms of fantasy, seeking more than what truly exists? Or is it possible that alongside the familiar animals of this natural world, a mythical creature finds its place hidden in plain sight? Tell us what you think. It was on May 2014 in the depths of southeast Peru that a trail cam captured something truly extraordinary. This creature, with its eerie appearance, left even seasoned explorers trembling with intrigue. As the footage unveils, we catch a glimpse of a creature that defies conventional explanation. Its form, obscured by the dense foliage, seems monstrous and otherworldly. The mind races with wild speculations. Could this be a mythical beast, a relic from a forgotten age, or an otherworldly entity that has made its home in the depths of the rainforest? The enigma deepens as reports emerge from Panama, where this same creature has been sighted and given a mysterious moniker, the short-eared dog or the short-eared Zorro. This creature, shrouded in secrecy, finds itself classified as an endangered species. Its existence is threatened by the fearsome predators that roam these rainforest realms, the ocelots, the jaguars, and the mighty pumas, formidable adversaries that could send shivers down anyone's spine. The range of this elusive creature stretches across the South American rainforest regions of Peru, Bolivia, Colombia, Ecuador, and possibly Venezuela. It's said to inhabit the waters or seek refuge in the depths of heavy rainforests. It's every move masked in the veil of mystery. But let us shift our gaze from the realm of legends and turn our attention to the facts that lie within the depths of this creature's existence. This creature, known by the name of the short-eared dog, stands as an enigmatic species facing the threats of its natural habitat. So no, it's no paranormal being, instead an endangered species due to our recklessness. Next, we have this footage of another wild animal exploring the night. As majestic as the creature looks, however, it's not our major point of focus. Take a look at the right side of your screen when the footage starts. Did you see that rectangular white shape? The uploader of the footage initially thought it was a result of recording in the night. However, when he showed it to an expert who reviewed the tape, he was told something like that shouldn't have been there. 
In other words, the rectangular thing does not exist in the raw footage of the clip, yet somehow shows up during playback. Upon further analysis by the paranormal community, it was concluded that similar to the orbs often seen in the footage, this rectangular anomaly signifies heightened spiritual activity, potentially surpassing the significance of the orbs themselves. As intriguing as that may sound, it's the first we've heard of it and would want to know what you think or if you've had any experiences with this. We can't wait to read your comment. Are you a fan of the Madagascar series? Then you should surely be familiar with lemurs like King Julian and his nemesis, the Fossa. Have you ever wondered what these creatures look like in real life? Well, you're in luck because we have footage of them. Enjoy. In case you're wondering, yes, the fossa does prey on lemurs. However, it's important to understand that this behavior is necessary for maintaining the balance and safety of their ecosystem. They may occasionally also eat rodents, birds, reptiles, and other small critters. They have a long, slender body similar to a cat with short legs and a long tail. They have short, reddish-brown fur and a muscular build, allowing them to move swiftly and climb trees proficiently. While it would be a bad idea to adopt one, you can still visit Madagascar to enjoy those creatures, but be sure to take us along, we'd want to see them too. For our penultimate video, we have a blast from the past, dinosaur tracks. Just in case you didn't know, the state of Texas is quite popular for having dinosaur tracks. These tracks are at least 110 million years old and have been preserved in the limestone and sandstone which is prevalent in the state. Should you want to enjoy and experience these tracks, we recommend the Dinosaur Valley State Park, which is some of the most diverse, deep, and well-preserved tracks in the state. Visit the place and thank us later. In the image, we see a creature with the head of a pig and a torso resembling that of a well-built gym instructor. That's right, folks, a bizarre hybrid of a human and a pig. It's an unprecedented sight that defies all expectations. This piggy will finish the big bad wolf with just one punch. However, upon closer inspection, there's a twist in this mysterious image. But as you take a closer look, you'll notice something unexpected. This creature is wearing a white wife beater. Wait, does that mean what we think it means? Could it simply be a person wearing an incredibly realistic costume? If that's the situation, then... Phew, what a relief, because I guarantee you, no one would like to have an encounter with this creature on the farm, woods, or anywhere else for that matter. But what do you think? Next, we travel to the mysterious landscapes of White Mesa, where a thrilling discovery was made. While hiking amidst the majestic peaks, an observant hiker stumbled upon a set of tracks that sent chills down his spine. These tracks, measuring a staggering 20 inches, left an indelible impression on the hiker's mind. But it wasn't just their size that caught the hiker's attention. It was the distinct shape that added an extra layer of intrigue. Although the tracks bore a resemblance to a human foot, a subtle uniqueness set them apart. They were abnormally large, surpassing the size of any known human. Even the tallest and largest man on Earth couldn't boast such colossal feet. In that moment, the conclusion was undeniable. They had just discovered the footprints of Bigfoot. Anyone who laid eyes on these footprints couldn't help but make the connection to the legendary Bigfoot, a mythical being frequently sighted in these very mountains. If you ask me, I'd say the image was legit, but what do you think? Next up, we have this trail cam capture of, quite frankly, the most beautiful deer I have ever seen. But she's not the focus today. What if I told you that the image you see was captured at night, not during the day? I'm pretty sure that might shock you, since it looks like the image was taken during the daytime and has only been desaturated. However, according to the individuals who submitted the image, it was captured at night in the absence of any surrounding lights. Yet, inexplicably, a radiant orb appears in the image. If the testimony of the uploader is to be believed, then we know there's definitely something supernatural going on here. If you've followed this channel for long, then you should know that orbs are usually an indication of supernatural activity, and judging by the size of this one, there's got to be a lot of supernatural activity going on here. 
The challenge is, we don't know what kind of activity that will be. Could it be one of the fabled spirits of the forests? Could it be a being from another dimension making its way to ours? No one can really say for sure what created an orb this big. Of course, some theories propose that it might be an alien spaceship landing nearby, but honestly, we don't quite see it that way. But what do you think? We start off today's collection with what appears to be a picture of trail cam footage being played on another screen. A closer look at the image and you'll realize there's a creature, or rather a cryptid, on the display. This cryptid looks like a blend of both human and ape features. Unlike your typical ape, however, this Bigfoot stands upright on its two legs. The proportion of its hands and legs bears great resemblance to that of a human, but the fur on the body does not. Due to the position of the light in the capture and the quality of the image, it's hard to tell what the face of this creature looks like, but I doubt it looks human. What could it be? The paranormal community is convinced it's a Bigfoot, and so is the individual who sent the capture in. Apparently, there have been Bigfoot sightings around the area where the trail cam captured the footage. Given that the creature captured in the image is at least nine feet tall, it doesn't sound too far-fetched. Or what do you think? Tell us in the comments section. Next, we have trail cam footage that's like nothing we've ever seen before. One of the main purposes for setting up trail cams is to capture footage of wild animals in their elements, either in the forest or someone's backyard. But ever so often, people end up capturing more than they intended. One such is this footage right here. If you pay attention to the footage playing on your screen right now, you should see some strange figures of light floating. As much as they look like simulations, would you believe me if I told you that these were captured on a trail cam? When this footage popped up in the paranormal community, many were quick to dismiss it, but further scrutiny of the footage by experts revealed that it had not been tampered with. Could these strange patterns be aliens, or could we simply be witnessing a glitch in the Matrix? No one can say for sure, but one thing's for certain. The paranormal community is divided on what it may be. As mysterious as these things are, it doesn't change the fact that they are beautiful. I mean, look at them. What do you think, though? Is this an elaborate hoax, or are we truly seeing a glitch in the Matrix? Or do you think it's entirely something else that we've missed? Please do share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Next, we return to Arizona, where this image was captured. At first glance, it looks like an ape in the bushes. A second and more careful look should reveal that although the creature has the fur for the look, it's no ape. When standing upright, the creature measures a towering seven to eight feet in height. Despite its fur, its body exhibits more human-like characteristics. This made all who saw it believe it was a Bigfoot, albeit a juvenile one given its size. Although it was big, adult Bigfoots are typically bigger and individuals can say for certain that it was a Bigfoot because Bigfoot sightings are quite popular in that area. So what do you think? Is this the real deal or could the whole thing simply be a hoax? Tell us in the comments section. This trail cam captures a monster that looks like it belongs in Hotel Transylvania. The creature looked stick-like and took long strides across the field like a zombie. However, the creature is so tall that the only parts visible are its legs. It also appears to have no arms. Weird. Despite the footage appearing remarkably realistic, the majority of viewers and even my team believe it could be edited. However, it's crucial not to dismiss the possibility that this creature might indeed exist. Perhaps it only looks like a bad case of CGI because it's from another realm. Who knows? But what do you think? Do you believe haunted forests exist? Would you explore one if they really did exist? Well, before you answer, we have footage from a couple who actually went in search of a witch in a forest they'd heard and believed was haunted. Yeah, you heard that right. They actually went in search of a witch in a haunted forest.
It started as a typical witch hunt until they came across something on the ground that sent shivers down their spines. If you carefully observe the footage, you'll notice a whitish object that defies explanation. It doesn't resemble any known creature and appears lifeless. As the witch hunting couple approached the object, an eerie presence enveloped them, accompanied by strange noises. As if that wasn't creepy enough, the woman starts feeling as though someone is pulling and entangling her. They were all visibly shaken up at this point, but despite their evident fear, the adventurous duo bravely continue their quest. They end up in a different location with a chilling sight, an airy ritual ground adorned with flickering candles. A strange man then emerges from the dark. The couple were clearly startled, but they muster the courage to ask him questions. He shows no interest in answering their questions and rushes to grab something from the ground. Without waiting to find out what it is, they make a smart move and start running away, only to be pursued by the man. It's clear that these guys entered a territory they were not supposed to. For a moment, I wondered if they survived, but then I remembered they were YouTubers who had uploaded the video themselves indicating their survival. But there are some of my team who think it could have all been made up for clout. Well, what do you think? Speaking of being in the wrong place, these unfortunate campers unknowingly chose a sinister spot in the depths of the woods, an experience that would haunt them for life. As the camera holder bolts out of the tent, the boy captured in the frame follows suit, both in a state of sheer panic. It appears that they were frightened by something. As they keep running, the camera holder looks back at the tent, and there, standing in front of the tent, is a creature on all fours. It doesn't look like a wolf or a coyote. The creature had human features, but it was very skinny. This reminds me of a skinwalker. These are mythical humanoid creatures that can shapeshift into any animal and are known to eat humans. These boys are lucky they fled on time, and by the look of their reaction, I think this is the last camping trip of their lives. For our next trail cam capture, we visit the woods on a rainy day. Imagine you're out in the woods exploring while it's raining, only to be stopped dead in your tracks by something that looks like a middle-aged man. You take a closer look and realize it's no man at all, as it has fur all over. Then it suddenly hits you, that you're actually looking at the legendary Bigfoot. You shake with excitement, yet still tremble with fear. Sounds scary and exhilarating, does it not? Now stop imagining, that's exactly what's happening in the clip you see before. Take a closer look. You see it, don't you? It initially looked like you were seeing a middle-aged man, only for it turn out to be a creature that's at least seven feet tall. Is that really Bigfoot, or are we dealing with a man in a costume? Tell us what you think in the comments section. Next, we visit Houston, where an otherworldly creature was supposedly captured on camera. Have a look. In the image, we see a creature was walking on two legs across a field. At first glance, it looks like a stray. This dog-like creature looks skinny and hairless, almost pale. The snout looks longer. Though the picture is blurry, you can tell that it's not a normal dog. There's something odd going on with this creature. The paranormal community who caught wind of the whole thing examined the image and came out with one conclusion. It's a chupacabra. For those unfamiliar with them, chupacabras are mythical dog-like creatures that are believed to suck dry the blood of other wild animals. Yes, you heard right, they are the vampires of the animal kingdom, albeit light is not a problem for them. This creature seems to fit all the bells and whistles associated with chupacabras, especially the hairless look it has been going for. But is it really one? Could a sickly dog have been mistaken for this mythical creature? Share your thoughts in the comments section. We'd actually like to hear them. Next, we have this strange structure that was spotted in the woods. 
The structure looks big enough to fit a person, or even two, yet not resilient enough to provide shelter for rainfall. It had twigs and other materials tied together to make it stand strong, meaning it was put together by someone with intelligence. Because, well, let's be honest, no animal is capable of this, not even the smartest apes that I'm aware of. The issue, however, is those woods were isolated and devoid of all humans. That leaves one question. What could this be, and who put it there? Was it really a structure for shelter, or is it a shrine? Is it a ritual ground for a cult of some sort? The man who discovered the place stood there wondering and pondering about the same things. His thoughts were, however, interrupted when he suddenly caught sight of a man hiding a few meters away from him. Once the man realized he was no longer hidden, he bolted, but the man filming refused to chase. He was pretty shaken up, and well, I would be too if I were him. Why did the man run, though? Well, we can't say for certainty, but whatever the reason, it surely can't be good. Or what say you? Next, we visit the wild for something rather, well, wild. A trail cam had been set up in the woods to capture interesting wildlife, but as you know, if it's on this channel, then it's definitely caught more than that. Have a look at the footage. The video starts off with what looks like a boar or a pig-like creature walking toward the end of the frame. If it's not any of these creatures, feel free to tell in the comments section. But. As the creature walks off frame, we see a weird lying object come into frame. And here's the thing. After reviewing the video several times, no one actually knows what it is. Some thought it might be some flying nocturnal animal. Another thought it might be a leaf, whereas others thought it might be a bird. If you ask me, however, it doesn't look like any of these things. Instead, it looks like those egg crates we used to see while growing up. But perhaps it's an age thing for me. Either way, we're currently looking to you for answers. What do you think that is? Could it be one of those things they stated, or is this simply edited footage by someone seeking their five minutes of fame? Tell us what you think. Take a look at this security cam footage. Now, study the black cat moving. What was that? The cat vanished into thin air. How is that even possible? Watch that again. No, that's not possible. Watch it again, it's simply mind-boggling. Could we be dealing with a supernatural being in the form of a cat, or is this video merely edited? The paranormal enthusiast in me wants to believe this is real. I mean, just take a look at the footage, it's too real to be edited. Many, however, believe that's the case, but if this video is indeed edited, it's flawlessly done. I personally don't want to believe that. I want to believe that there is something more sinister or supernatural occurring here, rather than just a camera trick. Black cats for centuries and across many cultures have been known to be very spiritual. Some see them as a sign of poverty, others of bad luck or even death. Despite this, the dog-furred felines are very popular with witches. They are the witches' favorite pets. So could it be that this cat was on its way to its master? Tell us what you think. Two men went hiking on the Indian fort when they spotted a dark, furry creature from afar. The creature looked to be about seven feet to eight feet tall. Walking amidst the tall grass, the hikers concealed themselves behind a tree to film the creature. The conversation reveals genuine fear, their voices trembling as they speak. Oh my god. What is that thing, man? I didn't know it was that fucking big. It's not coming up here, is it? No. It's... The creature was as big as a bear, but it looks to be walking on two feet like a human. Someone might say it's a gorilla, but gorillas walk with both their hands and feet. If you're frequently on this channel, then you already know what the diagnosis for this creature would be. A Bigfoot. 
Upon closer examination of the footage, one can notice that the creature is not too far from the filmmakers. Surprisingly, it appears completely unaware of their presence and their hushed conversations. Could this be an elaborate hoax or am I thinking things? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Next, we have this capture from upstate New York. It's a picture of a deer, but once you look closer, you realize that there is definitely something wrong with that deer. It looks like what you'd expect a cartoon character to look like. For one, it has forward-facing eyes, which has left many in both scientific and paranormal communities wondering what's going on with this deer. If you're confused about what I'm referring to, get a picture of a normal deer and compare it side by side with this particular one. Do you see it? A chunk of the paranormal community members believe they have answers and know what's happening with the deer. They believe this is no ordinary deer and is in fact a skinwalker. They state that it has oddities due to the fact that it's a human witch trying to take the form of an animal, and the oddities we see are nothing more than imperfections with the transformation. While that sounds plausible, it's quite the stretch, but we have no other explanations for it. Do you? Tell us in the comments section, please. Like the previous Bigfoot video, this footage was taken by a woman who heard strange noises in the forest and decided to film. The noise looked to be coming from above, on top of the trees, so you could see her filming up. But just as she was filming, she heard a rustle in the trees and moved the camera just in time to catch a glimpse of a creature lurking in the forest. The creature stood still, facing her, which allowed her to have a good look at it, even if it was brief. The creature had black fur from head to toe and appeared to be standing upright on two feet. There's the temptation to think it's an ape, but apes don't stand as tall as seven feet, and neither do they walk on both feet. And there's only one creature that matches this description, Bigfoot. Typically, when Bigfoots are spotted, they flee immediately. However, this particular Bigfoot didn't even try to run. It waved at her. Did you see it? Did you see the wave? What do you make of this encounter? Would you visit a forest known to have demonic artifacts? What about demonic dolls? Despite this forest's reputation for demons and demonic artifacts, this fearless YouTuber renowned for exploring paranormal locations decided to venture in without hesitation. In this footage, he visited the Demon Doll Road with a friend. The Demon Doll Road is a path decorated with creepy dolls and is said to be haunted. As the two guys were checking out the place, the guy freaks out and yells. He said he felt something blow the air into his ear. They searched around, but there was no one in sight. The team was visibly shaken after the incident. Who or what do you think was responsible? Though they survived the encounter, do you believe they were cursed or marked by a demonic entity? Or is the whole thing just a charade for content? Share your thoughts. A family was parked by the roadside when they spotted a moose feeding on the other side of the road in front of the forest, so they decided to film. While mesmerized by the moose's feeding, their attention was abruptly drawn to another presence a ghostly, pale creature lurking in the shadows behind the moose. The creature appeared to be standing on two feet and later moved to a crouch. The creature's appearance, with its pale complexion and slender physique, defied wild animal characteristics, bearing a striking resemblance to a skinwalker. Known for hunting both humans and animals, the mystic creature was likely biding its time, waiting for the perfect opportunity to pounce on the delectable moose. But what do you think? While we have encountered many creepy and scary stories, it's often the eerie presence of people that can be even more unsettling. You know they're human, but you can't tell if they have good intentions or not. This footage was taken by a man on his property. For about three days, he'd been seeing a strange clocked people. For about three days, he'd been seeing strange people wandering in the woodlands on his property. Their collective movement hinted at a singular destination, but its exact whereabouts remained a mystery to him. 
Unaware of his presence, they maintained a silent vigil, stealthily lurking throughout the area. They seemed to all be going to one location, but where, he couldn't tell. Confused? Have a look. You see them, don't you? Very creepy, isn't it? Footage like this leaves us with many questions. Who are they? Why are they doing that? Is it some kind of ritual? Are they an occult? Is anyone in that area truly safe? I hope I'm not the only one creeped out by this. Have you encountered such before? What do you think of the whole thing? Tell us in the comments section. Ever see a dancing deer? Well, watch this clip. I don't know if it's Christmas come early for this deer because it sure looks like it. This trail cam footage caught deer leaping from what I can only imagine being joy. Deer are very collected and cautious because of their status as universal prey in the wild. They're always jumpy, but not for a good reason. However, this particular deer appears to be jumpy for a whole different reason. It keeps moving up and down on the ground, wiggling its body. It's something reminiscent of how puppies behave, but this is no puppy. It's a fully grown deer, which doesn't have the luxuries domestic puppies are privy to. The most obvious of these is the continuous need to run for their lives multiple times a day. So what could have put this particular deer in a seemingly jolly mood that it jumps around like that, or could it be battling with an illness that makes it do that? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Next, we visit Texas, where there have been sightings of a large black cat. Now, why should this be something odd? If you know anything about big cats, you know that the large black ones are typically black panthers or jaguars, and the thing is, none of these are native to the Texas region. So how then do they keep popping up on trail camps? Well, the answer isn't so simple, but there are many theories. To start, experts believe that the black cats everyone appears to be seeing might simply be the jaguarundi, which is native to northern Mexico and South and North America. Experts suspect that a stray population of these creatures could have made their way to the region, causing numerous sightings. The paranormal community, however, believe that something more sinister could be going on, such as shapeshifters or even skinwalkers roaming the region. Both of these sound like a far fetch, but what do you think? Next, we have another beautiful yet mysterious picture right here. As you can see, it's an image of the forest in the dead of night with a glowing orb sitting on the root of a tree. Although glowing orbs represent all things supernatural, when I hear glowing orb and see beautiful images like these, I like to think of angels and maybe what heaven might be like if it's real. But do you think this is what this is? Some kind of glowing creature or a portal? Share your thoughts or experiences with us in the comments section. This person was walking a path in the woods when he came across this apparition. It looks like a person in dark clothes from head to toe. The entity appears as a figure dressed entirely in dark clothing. The entity was spotted near an old abandoned castle. Such locations are known for really severe hauntings that lead to death or madness. It appears that the individual unknowingly ventured into dangerous territory and the entity manifested to deliver a warning. But perhaps that's just me. What do you see? For our penultimate video, we step away from the supernatural and enjoy some cuteness. Take a look at this footage captured by a trail cam set up in the wild. We see a mother bear and her cubs marching in the woods to either seek shelter for the night or get themselves some dinner. Mother bears are extremely protective of their cubs. Despite their adorable appearance, it's crucial to remember that encountering a mother bear and her cubs could be extremely dangerous. Thanks to trail cams, however, you can enjoy such encounters without having to be close to them. For our final video of the day, we have a clip that at first glance looks like an ordinary fish, but a few seconds into the clip and we see the same fish poke its head out of the mud and produce smoke out of its mouth numerous times. Naturally, viewers find this strange and look up the type of fish this creature truly is. Many of these researchers find nothing except one Reddit user who claims that the creature is a lung fish and that the smoke emitted from its lungs is a natural trait. His claims are, however, met with skepticism and subsequently debunked. But even after debunking his claims, no one seems to have an idea what we're dealing with. 
The conclusion then is it's some unknown and undiscovered species of fish, but is that really the case? Or could we be dealing with some sort of new paranormal creature? Share your thoughts in the comments section. And that's it for today. Thanks for staying till the end and we'll see you in the next one.